Introduction to Animal Science. Animal, animal science is concerned with science and business of producing domestic livestock species. So that's why this is being studied uh, in the production of animals. It is uh, also, it includes not only the limited, uh, limited to beef cattle, dairy cattle, horses, poultry, sheep, and swine. An animal scientist applies principles of the biological, physical, and social sciences to the problems. So that's why in this subject, we will be talking about the uh, biological, physical, and physiological, and even anatomical uh, aspects of animals in raising, uh, part of raising and management. Now, animals is also concerned with the food, food of man's origin. So usually animals are being used or being raised for food, uh, just like pork, just like swine, which is uh, uh, converted, uh, which is usually used as pork or food. Even meat, dairy, uh, dairy food, just like uh, uh, cows, which are yet raised for milk, and even chickens, which are raised for eggs. The food industry is one of the most and largest and most important industry in the Philippines. In addition, animal science is concerned with the aspects of companion animals, including their nutrition, care, and welfare. The Philippines is chiefly an agricultural country. Both its plants and animal resources are major contributors to the country's gross national product. Just like in rice, producing rice, you use in some uh, rural areas, you use not only tractors, but you use also carnivals as draft. Population, domest uh, populations of domestic pigs, chickens, cattle, carnivals, uh, goats, and ducks primarily represent the animal production sector of the Philippine agriculture. In recent years, however, sheep, quails, and horses are gaining popularity just like pugo which is itlog ng pugo, which is used as uh, food or even uh, uh, companion with balut. Now, except for carabars and, and, and also, uh, that provide uh, also a significant amount of draft powers in addition to meat and milk, primarily products of other farm animal species are for food, meat, milk, and eggs. The vast waters within the, the around and around the country make fishing important to both the Filipinos diet and, uh, and industry. The first is beef cattle. Beef cattle meaning these are cattle which are uh, raised for meat, solely for meat. In some areas, they are used also as draft, but these are beef cattle. In uh, 2018, about 885,000 uh, cattle were slaughtered in the Philippines for meat production. Next is dairy cattle, meaning these are cattle which are which usually produces milk. In the Philippines, um, dairy, uh, milk is uh, becoming uh, popular uh, source of food or source of nutrient is not only for young ones but even to the older ones. In January 1, 2016, the total dairy animal population was 44,432 heads. This was 6.34% uh, higher than last year's head count. Dairy cattle stocks grow by 8.95%, just like in uh, Magnolia, you know, San Miguel Corporation. Now, dairy carabao and uh, dairy goats population went up to 2.91%. It is because uh, the, the most nutritious milk of, of uh, livestock is actually from 
uh, goats, you know, which is now sold in the market. Hags <clears throat> or swine. In 2018, approximately 27.7 million hogs were slaughtered for meat production in the Philippines. The total number of hogs slaughtered for meat production in the country increased overall over the last 10 years. It is used primarily for food and even uh, processed food. Now in 2018, approximately over 1 million chickens or broilers were slaughtered for meat production for the Philipp in the Philippines, just like uh, McDonald's and Jollibee. The total number of chickens slaughtered for meat production in the, in the country significantly increased over the last 10 years. The total volume of chicken eggs or layered chickens production in April to June 2018 was 141,000 metric tons. This was 7.10% higher prepared with the previous year's level of 131.10,000 metric tons. Increases in chicken egg production uh, is recorded in all regions. Okay. Next topic will be on man animals and ecosystem. What is the role of man in terms of animals, in terms of uh, animal science, in, in, in animal science? Now, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28 to 29, uh, God blessed, in verse 28, God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Roll over the fish of the sea, and the birds of the sky and every over every living creatures that move in the ground. So I've been, we have been uh, uh, God said to, to us to roll over the animals. Then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit in it. They will be your for food. So God said that we should uh, rule over the animals as food. Now, next is the ecosystem. What is an ecosystem? Actually, ecosystem is uh, the interrelationship of the living and the non-living. An ecosystem is a community of living organisms just like plants, animals, and microbes. Now, in conjunction with the non-living components of their environment, things like air, water, and soil interacting as a system. Okay, so these are in figure one. This is the action or the reaction or the interrelationship between the uh, ecosystem uh, between plants and animals. So you will see uh, plants that usually needed uh, sunlight to produce their own food. And plants are called producers. It is because they produce their own food. And plants are being eaten by animals. So mostly even, even human, uh, we rely on plants. Now, early man. Early man interacted with the environment by hunting. So the most common uh, 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 work that, is, has, that has been done uh, since the beginning, uh, the early days, man is goes uh, hunting. So, uh, hunting animals. No products were wasted. So, lahat kinakain. Gathering plants. So, just like right now. Uh, that's why, actually, uh, there has been uh, breeding because when a hunter usually uh, hunts and then captures and kills 
a, a mother with, uh, with offsprings, they usually uh, bought the offspring and they raised that and becoming a, a, a practice whereby these uh, wild animals are being raised and then they usually breed it with other hunters uh, captured by a uh, captured captured by hunters and then use our environment to make shelter make weapons tools out of a stone and made fire the next timeline of agriculture development neolithic revolution a shift from hunter-gatherer lifestyle to secondary farming with plant and animal domestication. So this one is so uh, happens. New patterns of crop uh, rotation and livestock utilization paved the, the way for better crop shields, greater diversity of vegetables and ability to support more livestock. Now farming became mechanized and commer commercialized with new inventions and technologies such as tractors, seed or drill uh, combines. Now the next is biotech revolution, advanced uh, uh, technologies such as the GMOs or genetically modified organisms are used in farming to increase fields and maximize the output from same amount of land. Now, even uh, Internet of Things, agriculture, in an agricultural context, refer to the use of sensors, cameras, and, the, and other services to every element and action involved in farming into data, just like uh, 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 just like YouTube is one of the sources of technologies which is usually uh, being applied today. Animals and their economic utilities. What is the use of animals? What do, uh, how, how do you use animals or why, why do we raise animals? Notwithstanding the relative and efficiency of animals in the production of food, they are important component of the food production system. For example, animals have the following distinctive attributes that enhances the ability of an agricultural system to produce food for man, usually food for man. So these are some of the farm uses, uh, farm animal and their uses, so just like horses. They are used for transport, traction, and amusement. In other countries, horses are used as a uh, status symbol. It is because horses are, are expensive. They usually uh, priced around one million. Then us equals asinos, which is used for traction and transport. Mule, mule is common in uh, in Arabian countries or in uh, yeah in Arabian countries, which is used to transport items or products of agriculture. And then camel, camel is most commonly in Arab countries in in desert areas. It is because uh, they, they can travel for almost one week or five days without drinking. Okay. And it is used for traction and transport. That is Camelos dromedaris. Then cattle, the Bos Tauros. This is used for milk, hide, uh, traction, just like hide. When you say hi, this is usually their, their skin is being uh, uh, converted into leathers, leather bags, belts, shoes, and even uh, jackets. 
Then also they are used as transport. And then buffalo. Now, uh, during the time of the pres of President Estrada, uh, they have there has been studies whereby uh, carabaos in the Philippines is being uh, is becoming extinct. It is because it, other carabaos are being raised for food, but actually uh, uh, carabaos are being used solely, so, supposedly, for draft in the farm. But uh, when uh, tractors are becoming popular, they are used for food. And then, so that's why uh, they breed uh, carabaos with buffaloes to uh, battle against the ext extinction. The next is sheep, or visaris, which is used for milk, meat, milk, and hair, or wool, in uh, Australia. In Australia, sheep is being used not only as meat, or uh, as meat, but it is used for wool. They usually uh, gather their fleece, and use is for converted that for wool. Then next is goats. Goats are used for meat and milk. And then pigs or uh, swine. That is used is krufa, which is used for meat. Then rabbit, rabbit which has been uh, when I. I, I have known rabbit, it was under poultry, but uh, eventually it was, uh, uh, it was uh, converted or it was again a livestock uh, source for food and even skin. Next is on birds, just like chickens. Chickens is gallus gallus. And then it is used for meat, eggs, and amusement. Amusement meaning uh, during Sundays there are uh, what's this bulangan. Okay, then ducks, which is used for meat and eggs, and eggs of ducks, smaller ducks, are used in balut. Uh, this are there are two ducks uh, kinds of ducks the muscovy and the muller next is the goose meat and eggs also and then turkey milagridis galupago which is for meat and eggs pigeon or columba livia this is also used for meat and actually uh, there is what we call as this cub or the yes cub which is used for meat and this is used also for amusement. In other, in uh, during World War II, uh, World War II and World War, World War One, they are used to communicate or for uh, transportation of communications. You no, know? and then quail used for meat and eggs, but usually they are raised for eggs. Then guinea fowl for meat. Next is animal agriculture and their economic utility. In, in this, you will see the, the, if the effect of raising animals in the, in the, in our, in the Philippines. Now, most animals provide food and leather and help in transportation. Okay. So you will see even silkworms you can use uh, to make silk fibers and even uh, uh, clothing and even to use a surgical instruments or sutures, surgical sutures and eggs for food. So 
one of the most common uh, food during morning or during breakfast is eggs, our eggs, and even milk. Now also, mammals also in, in, in other countries, just like cattle, they are used as draft animal. They are also used just like donkeys and, and uh, donkeys and mules and horses. They are used in 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 uh, upland countries. Uh, it is because they could they could carry a lot of things uphill. Animal agriculture and population problem. Now, even as the animals are common raised for food, they are already quite expensive intensively produced and they are expensive. They are not enough to meet the world's protein needs. In fact, there are what we call as protein gap. It is because there are uh, people or uh, rural, rural folks which could not eat or could not uh, produce protein for food. They are not uh, in uh, 1980, 1968. Fao estimated that the world's animal total animal protein food production was 40.70 million tons. Of this amount, 72 percent were from livestock and the remainder from aquatic animals with a human population of about 3.5 billion in the same year. The average per capita animal protein energy available was only 11.6 kilograms per year, about 32 grams per day. This is less than half of the normal requirement of 70 to 75 grams per capita. Now, animal pro protein production is expected to grow from 2014 to 2023 albeit at a slower rate of 1.6% per year compared to the previous decade. Demand of meat of all types is expected to increase by 53 million tons over the time period within 58% of this increase coming from Asia and, and, re, and Pacific regions and 18% from Latin America and the Caribbean contributing. It is because there is increasing population, so there is increasing uh, need for food. <clears throat> now, there are opportunities to improve the animal production through research that optimizes suitable agricul uh, animal agriculture. These are, first is advances in general biology, advances in breeding, advances in nutrition and management, advances in genetics, genetics, improve growth characteristics, protects against diseases, so just like GMO. Now identify and select for, for traits, so in breeding, so actually breeding is uh, selection. Advances in technology, uh, minimizes animal production wastes. So that's why, uh, just like the waste of 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 uh, hugs, waste of hugs, which is converted into uh, gas, which is biogas, uh, to minimize the pollution, and it is used for uh, used for heating heaters or even cooking. Now, minimize environmental and resource for footprints, improve animal welfare, protect against disease, and many others. Thank you.